Following the fall of Castle Templehof, the work of Isabella was not yet done. The rogue vampire counts still held a great deal of Eastern Sylvania. Further expansion was greatly needed. Although strong in the necromantic ways, the von Karstein's coffers were all but empty, and lack of wealth begets even more vultures than the smell of rotting corpses. Faced with the threat of financial collapse, Vlad chooses to return to Schwarzhaven. Doubting the fact that a necromancer was set to attack the von Karstein's home. How foolish of him. The battle was a fine exercise, and dead hounds tore through the enemy's own as Vargasts and bats attacked the necromancer from above. Although Vlad's forces were severely outnumbered, his powerful presence and renowned undead regiments proved more than a match to the meager necromancer's rabble in his even more meager abilities. Vlad's powers kept the Bards and Vargaists alive, unnaturally so, even as he single-handedly slaughtered the walking dead by the dozen. The army was eventually dispatched and sent to the wind once the necromancer fell unconscious. He did manage to escape, but not for long. Meanwhile, Isabella struck at the first bastion of Eastern Sylvania. Eschen fell, and a much-needed foothold in Eastern Sylvania was established. Despite advances, the enemy moves as well. Organized rebellion forces loyal to the Empire rode against Vlad's rule. Remains of the Necromancer's army retreating through the moot have the unfortunate luck to cross paths with the Imperial rebels. Unwise as Vlad uses their position to viciously ambush the weakling rebels, with the aid of the Moods loyalists, is a slaughter only made better by the screams of the living, as the enemy finds himself between a rock and a hard place. The rebels are summarily chased down and executed. Loyalty is something Vlad insists upon. Although Isabella's army possesses the high ground, it is seemingly at a disadvantage for its fewer numbers. For that very reason, Manfred orders his army to stand down, expecting Isabella to have to come to him instead of him to her. He is woefully mistaken if he thinks that she cannot harm him from afar. Isabella's magic is not to be underestimated. The lady walks down the sloped hill and targets Manfred with a singular torrent of dark magic. If he will not come to her, then she will simply squish him with her magics. The enemy army begins its attack. Isabella's squads are carefully positioned to optimal effect. Her two zombie regiments are at the forefront, ready to receive the blunt of the enemy attack. The squads of Direhounds and Black Knights will act as reserves, striking wherever Manfred's undead falter. As the two armies engage, Manfred's lines break formation, trying to overwhelm Isabella's smaller legions. However, their attempts to surround our forces are woefully unsuccessful. Once again, Isabella uses her magic to give life, so to speak, to a regiment of zombies behind enemy lines, in fact, just forcing them to fight in two fronts. There are many more forces in the fight, of course. Currently engaged are the Bats and the fierce regiment of renown, which will indeed attack from behind. The sheer force that Manfred finds himself within forces 
the Lord to his knees. He is carried away by several undead, but not before our army makes short work of his. At last, the binding spells that keep the enemy undead crumble, and Manfred's army turns to dust. Let that be a lesson for the young Von Karstein never to turn his back on the true lords and progenitors of his kin. Thus ends the second chapter of our tale, with Manfred's first loss to Isabella. Next time, perhaps, he shall be more guarded against her vampiric guile. Thank you for taking the time to watch this! I've been meaning to do something more narrative for a while now, and since I love Total War Warhammer, and Warhammer in its entirety, I thought this might be the best thing to start off with. If you'd like to check any of my other videos, Let's Plays and so on and so forth, please go do that. Also click that subscribe button, like if you would like to help me grow bigger, and as always, I hope to see you again next time. Bye!